we can't take, for this problem, we can't just square root both sides because we don't have our x isolated, right? We have two x's. So again, what I want to do, since I don't have my x's isolated, what I need to look at is say, all right, how can I maybe factor this then? Because if I can factor it, and the product is going to equal 0. So what you look at is always the first thing we always look at is see what our GCF is. So what do these two terms share? Huh? A 1. Well, they share a 1. All numbers are also going to share a 1. But what else? Besides 1, what else do they share? x. So can you factor out a GC GCF of x? Good. So let's divide by x. x squared divided by x is x. Negative 9x divided by x is negative 9. Do I now have a product that's equal to 0? Yes. Yes. So therefore, I can apply the 0 product property. So therefore, x equals 0 or x minus 9 equals 0. Solving for x, x equals 0 or x equals positive 9. Do you see how that's, see how you could use that one for last one, but now they have two terms? You can't do it. All right, and let's go over to the last one. 